looks aren't that important when you're 11. And I stand by this. I mean, the last thing I was thinking about before I was 12 was my looks. I was way too busy worrying about what was gonna get cooked for dinner or how I was gonna fake reading assignments. Which ironically enough became a higher priority as you got older. Thank, thank you, Vibby. Thanks. My point being, oddly enough, looks were a high priority until I got older. I don't know, there's something about adding that little two in there that makes looks way more important to you. See, when I turned 12, I was hit with a lot of things. I was hit with new responsibilities. I was hit with new relationships. And I was also like, just, just hit, like hit. Hit? Like ugly. I was not cute. I don't know. I was a really cute kid growing up. And then my body was just like, nah. And then boom, that weird, awkward face. Like bro, I was built like a fried plantain. It was wild. I had a lot of problems, especially the acne. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Actually, let me talk about acne real quick before I get into the meat of the video. Like bro, you could play like connect the dots with my shit. It was not, it was not the one. And although it's gotten better, even today, I still deal with acne. So I wish I had something like this video sponsor back in the day. Curology. Now, y'all, I know most guys don't really care about skincare. Like, but you ever look in the mirror and just be like, damn, I don't want to play connect the dots anymore. Why can't my forehead be an edge of sketch where it can just go away? Well, Curology is that proverbial shake to the edge. I know. The analogy doesn't track that well, but stick with me. It's a good product. Okay, hold on. They hit me up a couple months ago and I've been trying it out and ooh, the boy looking clean. Nah, 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 nah. But John Cena, cause you can't see a lot more of that acne no more. Ooh -hoo. Now bear in mind, this took a couple months and not everyone's gonna see the same results as me, but from what I've gotten, I like it. And now I'm, I'm kind of actually into skincare. And look y'all, it's fairly simple process. Look. Step one, you wanna use the cleanser. Initially should be grossed out by until you put it on your face. That sounds weird, I know. Step two is pull Pulling out the formula and adding it specifically to your acne problem areas, which it directly helps, followed by step three, in which you make love to it, in which you realize it's the only positive force in your life right now. Maybe that's just me though. Quarantine's been tough. And then you use the moisturizer. That's it. You're done. You're done. So how about you just try it out for yourself for literally free? Free. Just go to my link in the description. That's Curology <laughs> slash Kurt Ritchie. You get a one month free trial. All you got to pay is the $4.95 for shipping and handling. That's it. That's it. That's all. But really, I can say it works for me and consider trying it out and helping the channel too if you do. Check out the link in the description. That's Curala.gy forward slash Kurt Ritchie for a one month free trial. Just pay for shipping and handling. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Okay. Continuing on with the video. With all these looks in mind, I think this would be the perfect time to talk about growing up ugly and glow up. Considering I definitely glowed up IRL and in these videos to this form. Oh my God, are you still on this we look completely different spiel again? I thought we were over that. We, since when did you start speaking French? We, who's we? Not me, I'm not over it and I'm not crazy. I never thought you were crazy. <sighs> well, finally, thank you. I, I thought you were drunk. Oh my. God, Vivi. For those of you that don't know, Kurt thinks reality had been altered starting a couple weeks ago. Hey, hey, since when have you talked to them? I, I talk to them, Vivi, okay? Since I've been the only sober person in these videos. Vivi, I am not drunk. I've glowed up. I'm significantly hotter than what I was a couple weeks ago. Like, hello? Come now, look at this beard. I am very confident I didn't have any of these before. Maybe I'll try calling AA this time. Anyways, outside of the situation I'm in now, I guess, growing up, I was definitely in need of a glow up. And the crazy thing is, is that I generally didn't know that I was like kind of ugly. Like I had no idea, like none. I was walking around casually looking like a foot and I was oblivious to it. I mean, to be fair, like I said, this stuff didn't matter at the beginning. So I had no idea it was a thing to look out for, but you know, there were signs. And some of y'all might have experienced some of these too. Wait, there are signs that you're ugly? Like a traffic signal, but for your face. Yeah, I mean, usually you'll notice little things around you that kind of seem off. It used to happen to me all the time. Like say, screaming about how everything had changed? No, there are signs you're not the most attractive person. And also signs that all of reality has changed. Those are different things. You know what, you convinced me. I guess you weren't drunk. Oh my God, so you finally believe me. So maybe we can like figure out some way to go back. You were just ugly. You know what? F
you. It all makes sense now. Anyway, I used to peep those kinds of ugly signs all the time. Like one, I was in a friend group and the people we were talking to were generally more interested in talking to my friends than me, even though we were all talking about the same thing. Well, maybe you were just boring. I mean, you usually are. Uh, you're so, this video is so, there was more than that. One time someone's parents at a basketball game said I look like Spike Lee. I didn't have the film background to know who that was. I was 12. I just thought he had a cool name. However, a quick Google search will show you um, uh, not so much. Come on, Spike Lee isn't that. Vivi, he is not attractive. Maybe they just meant you looked seasoned. Okay, maybe this will break the illusion. In class, kids would talk about who would be really good couples, and someone brought up my name. <laughs> and then everyone laughed. Well... Okay, there's no way to misinterpret that one. There we go. Sorry, I just haven't ever had to go through something like that. Ever? Even with the, like, the... The tentacle hair? You wouldn't think it, but the hair is actually more of a turn on for people. So. Okay, okay, I regret asking. But oddly enough, none of these really took me out of my lack of understanding, you know? Like, I, I don't know, they might not have been really direct enough, but oh, one day I did have that aha moment. I remember being on the bus one day heading back home from school and it's safe to say this wasn't my favorite ride because I was currently engaged in an argument with this girl in the grade above me over Dude, I don't remember. What was I, like 12 or 13? Probably like Healy's or something 12 or 13 year olds talk about. I don't know, yo. And in response to something I said, she hit me with the completely off topic comment of, well, you're not even cute. You're not really cute at all, actually. Now that hit. Nah, bro, I honestly preferred if she uppercut me, bro. I'm dead ass. Bro, at least that recovery would have been quicker than the four years of pain she just hit me with. Bro, she just slapped me into consciousness. I mean, bro, think about this. I can't remember what we were arguing about, but I do remember that a decade later. Oh my God. We're just opening up a treasure trove of trauma today, aren't we? It really is just one of those days, huh? Yup, my Kurt's just crazy now theory is going pretty strong. Anyways, but the problem with her whole thing is that objectively, she wasn't wrong, as I've been saying for this whole video. I mean, my style was uh, basura. My glasses made me look like goofy. I was already starting to get acne. It, it was not a good look. Whoever cut my hair probably wanted me to kill myself. I don't know. So it's like, where do you go from here? What do you do? I remember talking to my family and watching YouTube videos over the topic and the consensus was pretty clear. Love yourself. You are who you are and that's okay. You should enjoy the skin you're in despite it. And honestly, that felt like bullshit. Bro, this isn't Sesame Street, yo. This is my life. Be happy with myself? Like how? There was no switch on me that's just like, oh, that's okay. So I did what I had to do. My only option was to look better, improve myself, because that's Sesame Street. So over time, I got contacts. My mom stopped buying me clothes. I got my own stuff and tried to be funnier. I had worked to finally become this person I was trying to be. And I continuously tried to see if it was working. Bro, I was in the mirror every day. I was baiting people into seeing if I was cute. Yo, I'd post an obnoxious amount of selfies in order to look cool, just so I could feel like I was, well, attractive desirable and i knew that one day i was going to be satisfied there'd be a day when i looked in the mirror and i was happy and that day did come now it took some time but with all my efforts and just a little help with the genetic boom i was what i considered well fairly attractive i felt confident i changed what i wanted to change about myself i remember looking in the mirror and thinking damn i'm fine y'all are a day like that when you look in the mirror looking like an absolute snack with two c and what do y'all usually do when you feel like that because me i take a picture this moment you cannot lose and then i want to post it to the internet so everyone else can see the moment i took it and i posted online i waited and i refreshed it just to wait and see all the comments i looked at it harder and the longer i looked at it the more flaws i could see it kind of looked like it warped I kept looking at that picture thinking, did I really look good? Quite honestly. So I did what any normal person would do, deleted the picture and went back to the bathroom. I took picture after picture after picture and not a single one I was happy with. What happened? I, I didn't know why, it was weird. For a week, I kind of just thought about myself. Why am I still unhappy? Why? I did everything. Why do I still feel like this? 
I was a little lost. You lost yourself, your self-esteem, any bit of pride you had left, and now you've lost your sanity. It really does all make sense. I'm not crazy, Vivi. Well, you know that saying, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Okay, that's a that's a good argument. That's a good argument, but I'm, de I'm not crazy. Now, at least. That stuff definitely drove me a little crazy, specifically over looks. So maybe a couple of weeks later, I was at a basketball game for a high school. Just sitting in the concession area, kind of still obsessing over myself. I got up to go snag a hot dog during halftime to maybe drown my sorrows in processed meat. And there, walking away, I saw that girl from the bus that day. She'd actually dropped out of school maybe three or so years after our conversation on that bus. Since then, we'd reconciled, but I thought I would say what's up to her. And we chatted for a bit. And naturally, I asked her why she ended up dropping out of school. And it's because she had a kid i know kind of a wild question and as she kind of reflected over everything i brought up the incident i mean who couldn't okay it was kind of a defining moment for me and she said she was sorry she was mean to me that time ago, and said now that she had a kid she was trying to focus more on loving herself so she could love it properly now for story purposes this should be the part of the story where it clicked it didn't. There was no big aha realization but that's kind of what set things off for me to realize that although corny it does need to be both. There is something in you you want to change. Fuck it. Try and change it. Clean up your style. Wash your face. Get that line up. Like, hit the gym, bro. G hit them squats, bro. That there also should be an extent where you do love yourself. As corny and Sesame Street as that sounds, it is a spectrum. Else you'll be sitting in the mirror, taking picture after picture, obsessing over why you don't look good. Where you do what you can to a healthy and reasonable extent that makes you happy. And then for those other things that might be out of your control that you don't like, try your best to easily accept them or even compensate for them, which there's nothing wrong with. And I get it, it's hard and easier said than none, but it might be something I can vouch for. At least I think so. Well, that was a much better message than I thought you were going for. Oh, is that a compliment? Yeah, I think we made some great progress today. You learned how to love yourself a bit more and I learned that you're not drunk. Just crazy. Just crazy. Yeah, okay, sure. See, progress. What's up, y'all? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the last one if you haven't already. Be sure to join the Patreon as well. Come support the boy. If you really like the content, you can support me there. And be sure to join the Discord server. Come join the community. You have a good time, you know? Um, be sure to ask Kurt Ritchie about Emergence, the manga Emergence. Ask him about it. He, I'll love it. I'll love it. I'm gonna love that. And once again, thank you, Senny, for the manga art. She's a goddess. Always blessing my videos. Thank you, Senny. Uh, check her out in the description below as well. And yeah, be sure to check check out my real channel. Kurt Ritchie's my second channel, my first channel, my main channel, my real channel is uh, youtube.com slash forward slash youtunes. That is U-T-O-O-N-Z. You don't wanna be here on my second channel. Well, this is my backup channel. You don't wanna be here on my backup channel. You gotta go on my first channel, youtube.com forward slash U T O O N Z, YouTube. Let's go. Uploading soon. We out. Peace.